Hey, so I just heard something on the radio. A pastor was um, preaching a sermon and it echoed something that I heard Pastor Stephen Furtick say when I was at his church um, last week at Elevation. And he spoke about, both pastors spoke about Jesus's ability or the critical ab ability to be one of demonstration, but also be one of explanation or flip-flop be one who can explain, but be one who can also demonstrate. And Pastor Furtick brought up that Jesus did this often with his disciples and um, those in the crowds that he was attracting as he just was who he was. Um, and the pastor today that I just heard on the radio echoed that as well. And I paid attention to that because when I hear things repeated um, that are uh, spirit and Holy Spirit inspired or God inspired, I do my best to pay attention. Um, and what that says to me is that it's great to be able to speak something that you believe or to communicate something um, verbally that you believe is important, something that um, that even as Christians, as believers, you be we believe is um, something that is pleasing to God. But it is also very critical to walk those things out and to embrace those things in our own life. I even heard another pastor um, that I've recently began listening to talk about how when we confess things that we won't do, when we basically talk a good game that we cannot back up with our lifestyle, we're causing ourselves brain damage. And he spoke a lot about, um, he has a background in psychology and all of those things, but he spoke about how uh, being, uh, leading a, a hypocritical lifestyle is damaging to the mind. And, um, and I believe that there's some truth in that. Um, because it, it kind of makes you, it, it makes you, it makes you of, of, of two different flows of two different ways of being. Um, and I believe the safest way to be is according to God's blueprint, blueprint for you. Um, so having said all of that, bottom line that's ringing true to me now is, to live the life that God is requiring us to live um, and to not just be able to talk about it, but to sometimes shut up and close your mouth and let people see your communication. And um, I don't know, I just, uh, I'm appreciative for where God has me right now and I'm learning to, to embrace all processes that he brings me into, that he allows to knock on my front door, that he allows to plow down my front door. I am learning to embrace all of those processes because um, he's God and I sure don't know more than he does. So thanks for listening.